Hey there, so it's Patrick at StopSprayingUs.com. Hello. Um, I'm, the reason I'm making this video is, uh, as you know, I've been uh, trying to extract uh, death records from the uh, city of San Francisco. There's a sunshine ordinance and I've been, uh, this is the most recent one, uh, when I went, I was basically at, I asked the Department of Public Health how many people died on any particular day and they said no we're not going to tell you if anybody died because that data belongs is stored on a state database and they own it uh, so go pound sand so uh, and they gave me this um, application for uh, you know to, to get the the data and stuff from the state but in the agreement at the bottom it says all vital records all vital records data received will be destroyed or returned upon completion of the project therefore it can't be double checked by anyone it can't be uh peer reviewed so you know it's it's uh, it's worthless you know i gotta say you know what, what i'm gonna use it for and whether it will uh and, and a lot kind of stuff it's no good Plus, I want the public to be able to do analysis on this public database, which I will be releasing. So I thought, hmm, okay, so how do I avoid uh, the state? So, like I said, San Francisco has a Sunshine Ordinance, which is a, uh, it's a freedom of information thing, which uh, they, the city has 10 days to respond to request for public data and uh, it's free if it's on uh, media use applied to them. So I did a bit of deconstruction. So I have five uh, uh, Sunshine Ordinance requests uh, to, um, anyway I'll go through them. First one it's to Department of Public Health and I've asked them Oh, by the way, sending it all uh, certified mail return receipt requested. That's always a handy thing to do. Um, so, uh, as is my right under the San Francisco Sunshine Ordinance, I request the following records. For as long as electronic records have been created until February 28th, which is two days from now, I request the dates, times, and unique record numbers of all deaths pronounced at Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg, that guy and also uh, from Laguna Honda and the managed care facilities administered by uh, Department of Public Health. Does not violate HIPAA. And um, so yeah, they gotta deal with that. They, like, they have, when, when they get this, they'll have 10 days to respond. So I shall sign this one. Lovely little button pen I just got. Yay, so. So there's my signature. So that one. Goes to the Department of Public Health. All right, so. Next. Department of Emergency Management. So they, these are the guys who run the 911 system here. And when you call 911, there's an operator who will log your call, find out what the situation is, and then uh, contact uh, fire department, police department, and say it's a medical emergency or whatever. So what I've asked for, for from these guys is, also, for as long as electronic records have been created until present, I request the times, dates, and record numbers, uh, computer-aided dispatch number or similar, of all incoming calls to the San Francisco 911 system in which the caller reported a medical emergency and a first responder was dispatched to the incident. And secondly, same, same uh, date period, but also when the caller reported a person or persons appeared to be dead not breathing or heart appeared to have stopped so department of emergency, Ma emergency management and here's the thing 
If the um, Department of Public Health had just been, you know, straightforward and said, oh, here's the data, um, I would have been happy with that. And, you know, I would have been able to do my work and so on. This, but because they blocked me, I contacted five other departments, five other headaches, and, um, it's, and also, I end up with much, much better detail. So, also, next one. To the police. Uh, and I'm asking them, uh, same time period or whatever, uh, as long as electronic records have been created until present, I request the time, dates, and unique record ideas of all reports to San Francisco SFPD dispatch in which an officer reported to dispatch that a person appeared to be dead or was in respiratory or cardiac arrest. Secondly, I ask uh, if there was a medic or someone who is a paramedic or a doctor who was on scene uh, who was had the authority to pronounce death was and have that reported back to SFPD dispatch. SFPD dispatch is part of San Francisco, uh, city and city and county of San Francisco and are under the Sunshine Ordinance. So that's another one. Also, I've got the, the, you can look up the uh, certified mail thing because there, someone, someone's got to sign for this and go, oh crap. Oh, wait, did sign uh, this one. Gotta cross all your T's and dot all your I's, so. Emergency management. Okay. All right, so this one's to the police department. I know it's not a great signature, but you know, whatever. And all of these uh, documents will be in any description of this, or PDFs of all this stuff will be in the you know description and whatnot. And also on stopspraingus.com. All right, number three is um, the fire department. Same thing I asked the cops. They actually do have paramedics and paramedics are able to uh, pronounce deaths. So uh, that's basically the same thing. stuff. Finally, this one is going to be freaking awesome. So, the chief, the chief medical examiner, the coroner. So, uh, I did a little bit of research and any time a death is pronounced, whoever pronounces it must file the death with the chief medical examiner. Um, and that includes all paramedics, not just ones in, uh, in you know, the fire department, either private ones, you know, um, nurses can actually sign them uh, if uh, um, uh, uh, if there's two, if, if there's no doctor around, two RNs can sign off on it and they will then have to file with the medical examiner. So right, that's the last one. And this one will have the best data. And what I asked from, from, from the medical examiner is uh, dates, times, and unique, rec unique record numbers of all deaths reported to filed with the Office of the Chief Medical Examiner by doctors, paramedics, or all and others authorized to pronounce deaths in the city and county of San Francisco. So yeah. 
a little bit of research, you can get way more stuff than you expect. And I, I'm expecting some pushback, of course. But um, it goes to show that whenever um, there's any obstacle in your way, um, those obstacles end up helping you, frankly. And uh, yeah. So off to the post office. Here we go. Yay. So, um, and this, you know, certified mail doesn't cost you much. I like to, um, when you when you send something certified mail, uh, they, they put the postmark here. And if you fill this thing in, they'll actually ma mail you a thing saying it's been received. So yeah, that is it. And I'm also gonna drop off some, uh, at the post office, I'm, I'm sending out some of those awesome buttons. Yeah, you got a button, uh, help, helps my work. And uh, yeah, good times. Here we go, boom.